Good morning, my brothers. I'm Don. Hey, first thing I want to start off by saying is, Battle of Men, you're awesome. I am so happy and so glad that I I, I came across you, that, that you popped up there, that the Lord pointed you out. But I know there's a lot of men that, that are struggling with uh, issues of duality, of self spirit of flesh and spirit battling against each other that's why they call it the battle of man a rate uh, and from my own perspective and this is my own perspective and if you find something in in this for yourself praise the lord because i believe this is for somebody or somebody's in this group and it's about the struggle between flesh and spirit uh, god gives us a platform in order to come from because we have to have a place to come from prefacing other things and that platform is the word of god and how do we view that do we view it in black and white or do we view it through the liberty of the spirit um, if we're looking at it black and white it's going to be a religious thing it's going to be a thing that binds and bounds and chains <laughs> and keeps us miserable for our lives and when we blow it more misery just gets heaped on and the kingdom of darkness gets more glory by our actions. Um, at any rate, God's been uh, having me read the book of Romans 6, 7, and 8 for quite some time. And it's, it's taken me a while to come to the revelation of my own duality, of, the own, of my own things that I fight in, and in myself. The pornography, the spending, the <laughs> the judgments I make, <laughs> bad and good. And so, you know, what I need to see in my own life is how much Jesus loves me and what he did to die for me. And I'm actually set free whether I see it or not. And when I blow it, I have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the righteous, who's a propitiation for our sins. And I think it says that there are a few times, not in that same group of scriptures, but throughout the New Testament. And But the thing is, is, is with me, the duality is I find myself wanting to do right, but <laughs> there's some kind of evil that, that, that overcomes me. And, and the evil here is in our thinking, is in my thinking. And in, 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 in that thinking, I become blind to the things of the Spirit because of, that, because of that internal struggle, because of that duality. It's like having two personalities, one good, one bad. And if you're like me, you may find yourself slipping into a place of condemnation and unworthiness and thinking God wants to punish you. But the... The truth is exactly the opposite. God wants to bring us life and life more abundantly through His Son, Jesus. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do the right thing, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inner being. But I see in my members another law waging war against the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then I serve, I myself serve the law of God with my mind, but with my flesh the law of sin, the duality of my own nature. And, and the discovery that uh, I'm a son. And I don't want to live or come from a place of maybe he'll accept me or maybe he'll reject me. And, and live in that place of wavering because that's not faith. That's having a wavering mind. At any rate, we need to get healed. Even those who, who, who have overcome things in their lives still need that healing because there's always going to be something while we walk in this flesh. So, you know, whether we, we're doing some kind of works or whether we're, we're believing some kind of lie, some kind of lie, the law, 
and we're coming from a Greek-minded uh, relationship towards God, what we need to do is be willing to open ourselves up to the Spirit and see that God wants to root those things out. And one more thing before I go. Sometimes the root of our sin isn't exactly what we think it is. We think if we look at pornography, it's because we're lustful when it might be because we're in pain and we're trying to medicate that pain. Um, or we're feeling rejected <laughs> or whatever. So at any rate, that's just my, some thoughts. I hope that this gets posted and I hope it touches somebody. Have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. Bye.